today right here in the state of Maryland. It's going to be 43 degrees, mostly cloudy. Feels like 39 degrees. Expect partly sunny skies. Luxury winds will accompany a high of 48 degrees. With the air quality, with the green stuff of 26, wind 14 miles per hour. Humidity more than 70%. Visibility 9.9 .9 mile. Pressure 29.72 inch. And finally, dew point 35 degrees. Now, guys, I want you to pronounce this A company. A company. Hope you get it. And I want you to say this word. Bluzzery. 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 Alright. Alright, let's focus on the Doppler radar. So as you as you may know, ladies and gentlemen, somewhere in the United States, and including on the East Coast, we have the rain and snow that are mixed. And even the green stuff of wit of rain. Excuse me. The pink is represents rain and snow. For, for, you, for you guys who are new at this. Or you know already. So that means pink that represents rain and snow. And then green that represents rain. So. Now the radar is moving on the eastbound side and the northeast side. So we do have a little bit of the snow right here in Cecil County. But there's no snow for today. However, as you know, in um, West Virginia and Pennsylvania, you, you will know that are going to be the pink, which is rain and snow. Rain is, rain is clearing up in the state of Maryland. With the wind, wind is showing 15 miles per hour right here in Baltimore BWI Airport. Showing 13 miles per hour in Frederick, Westminster, with 12 miles per hour, which is in Hagerstown, Cumberland, 10, and 10, which is in Annapolis. So 10, which is in Cumberland and Annapolis. Washington, 7 miles per hour. Same thing goes to in Cambridge. Salisbury, 8 miles per hour. Leston Park, 9 miles per hour. So, if we zoom in right here in Cecil County, Harvard County, and the rest of the Baltimore counties, besides Baltimore where you live. So, starting off with Cecil County. So, in Elkton, 11 miles per hour. Rising Sun, 13 miles per hour. Aberdeen, 11 miles per hour. Same thing goes to in Edgewood. Bel Air, 12 miles per hour. Middle River, 14 miles per hour. And if we zoom all the way, all the way down, so we, will ha we have Habity Grace, 12 miles per hour. Charlestown, 11 miles per hour. Falston, 11 miles per hour. Kingsville, 12 miles per hour. Joppa, 12. Riverside, 10. Perry Hall, 13. Essex, 14. Dumdog, 15. Owens Mills, 15. Reisterstown, 14. Ellicott City, 15. Arbutus, 15. And finally, Elk Ridge, 14. And, don't, and before we're moving on to the, cl the clouds, you will have Ocean City, 14, 14 miles per hour. Snow Hill, 10 miles per hour. Like I said, Salisbury, 8 miles per hour. And finally, 16 miles per hour in Oakland. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, the clouds. The clouds are going to be picking up right here in the state of Maryland. Now, clouds are going to be moving right here in Maryland where you live. So we do have clouds in the sky if you look outside. Clouds are moving on the eastbound side. So we do have lots of clouds. Because you know yesterday we do have the rain and a little bit of snow. 
with the community. Community is definitely showing with which some are going to be on the lower of 60%, the mid of 70%, and the higher of 80%. So we're showing the sky blue and on the Garrett County showing that are going to be dark blue. Almost towards the purple. So we're showing with more than 90% in Garrett County. With the visibility, we're showing mostly on the more than 12.4, which is in the gray stuff. However, in Garrett County, if you live in Garrett County, we do have some are going to be 2.5 mile, the, the, the red stuff, the purple one that are going to be more than 0 0.5 mile, the blue one that represents going to be 3.7, and the green stuff will be almost getting towards the 10 mile. So we do have Oakland, 2.5 mile, Babe Yard, 1.6 mile, Friendsville, 3.9 mile, Frostburg, 6.1 mile. With the sea level pressure, we're showing, now we're showing the lower of 10s, which is 10 mile, so that's nearly 20 mile. So look at this, it would, and it's changing up a little bit on the numbers. So we do have 29, we do have 29 inch right here all over the entire state of Maryland where you live, including Baltimore County, Harford County, and Cecil County, even Kent County. With the dew point, we have dew point which is in Baltimore, we're showing with 30, 30 degrees. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, we do have we do have the only one location that we have which is going to be nearly 30 degrees, which one inch closer, which is in Carmelin. If you live in Carmelin, you will have there there are going to be with nearly 30 degrees, with one inch closer. With the uh, more than 30s, we're showing Hagerstown, Frederick, Westminster, Baltimore. And that's it. And finally, with nearly on the 40s, we have Washington, Annapolis, Cambridge, Salisbury, and finally, Lexington Park. So we're showing the light purple in Maryland, mostly. With the air quality index, we're showing the green stuff. So like we mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, in Baltimore and BWI Airport, showing 25 that are going to be good. So we do have 50s in Hagerstown. We do have 40s in Frederick and 30s in Cambridge and Salisbury. And don't forget about the more than 20s, which is in Lexington Park and Cumberland. With the winter weather, we do have a winter weather, which is in Garrett County, which is winter weather advisory. Severe weather. We do have we do have the same thing. However, that's good. Small craft advisory, which is in Baltimore County. I mean Baltimore City. And even all and even all the way on the ocean side, on the water side. Don't forget about that Lexington Park, which is a small craft advisory. Moving on. So, ladies and gentlemen. So for the first time in Maryland, we do have the pollen that are going to be low. So green represents that are going to be low instead of moderate all the time. So all the numbers as you can see here on the bottom on the screen, so we're showing with more than 10. Now now ladies and gentlemen, temperatures are going to be cold outside. So you might have to stay indoors like we've been mentioning like we've been mentioned already. So, temperatures are going to be on the 30s and on the 40s. And finally, precipitation. Precipitation that we're definitely showing, but just a little bit in Cecil County. 
and even almost getting towards the Garrett County. So it's gonna clear it's gonna clear up the precipitation. There are going to be no light, no moderate, and no heavy. So we definitely had a little bit of the the precipitation in Cecil County where you live. So, with the favorite places. So, so places are going to be with showing with 30s and on the 40s. So we're going to start off with the 30s. So 30s in Oakland. So that's the only 30s that you will have, which is in Oakland, 30 degrees cloudy, with the winter weather advisory. With nearly 30s, well, I mean, with nearly 40s, excuse me, so I'll say it again. Nearly 40s in Cumberland, Hagerstown, and Elton. And, and don't forget, with more than 40s, which is in Perryville, Frederick, Cumberland, Westminster, Washington, Annapolis, Bel Air, Rock Hall, and Easton. Now with, now with the historical weather during January of 2024. So, so we're in, we're in, we're on Sunday, January of, of tw January 7th of 2024. So with the de December 31st, so, so with the historical daily high with 45 degrees, historical daily low, we're showing with 31 degrees. With the precipitation, now precipitation that we're showing, that we're showing with the, la with the, last, with the last before of the New Year's, before the New Year's of 2024, well, sorry. So I'm so we so we mentioned, ladies and gentlemen. So for today, on January seventh of twenty twenty four, with this with the historical daily historical daily accumulated precipitation was zero point ten inch. With the humidity during the twenty twenty four. We're definitely showing with historical daily average with 66.72%. With the wind, we're showing with the historical daily average 6.8 6 6 miles per hour. With the 2024 of sunny, we're definitely showing more than 70%. So that's 71.4%. Rain, we're showing with less than 30%, so that's 28.6%. And that's it. So with the day, partly, like, like we mentioned, expect partly sunny skies, blustery winds will accompany a high of 48 degrees. With the night, the skies will be clear. The low will definitely will be 38 degrees. So that's nearly two inch closer to 40 degrees. Then now during January, with the sunny days, 25, rain, snow days, 5. Average high with more than 40 degrees. Average low, 31 degrees. Now, now precipitation with the record for January 7th with the rain days, 16. Average 0 0.11 inch records, which is 1.21 inch with the year 2009. 2009. Snow days 10, average 0 0.42 inch record, 6.8 inch with the year of 1996. So, so today is going to be partly sunny, but tomorrow is going to be 49 degrees sunny. Now, as always, here is your rest of the forecast. Listen carefully. With the heavy rain, we're showing 52 degrees. That's the day of Tuesday. Wednesday, it's going to be 49 degrees, mostly sunny. And then sunny on Thursday, which is 53 degrees. And then light rain showers will be 49 degrees on Friday. 
and then Saturday on the weekend we're showing 50, 50 degrees partly sunny now here are the breakdowns so Monday and then Thursday will be sunny and then the only mostly sunny that we're going to get which is in Wednesday the only partly sunny that we're going to get is on the weekend of Saturday the only heavy rain that we're going to get is on Tuesday and finally the only light rain showers that we're going to get is on Friday